Good morning YouTube. Well, it will be evening when this video goes up, but I have been up since since 6 o'clock because I went and done some shopping and Jordan's about to finish work, it's nearly 12 o'clock and I picked up a pineapple because there's a video I want to try before we get into the gym part of this video. Now apparently there's a way to open these without using any knives. And apparently the first step is to twist the lid like that. The first step worked, so I suppose we're on to a winner. And the next step, so you just dunt it. I hope the neighbours don't mind. But okay, and then the next step, apparently you roll it to loosen these little shapes. Hmm, I'm a bit to stand up for this. Put a bit of pressure on it. This will be so cool if it works. I've always wanted to try this. I've seen this video on uh, Facebook a couple of years ago and I've never ever tried it. Okay. So then the next step is to give it another done. Now apparently if you grab on to these little parts it should just pull out. Oh no. I was really hopeful. Maybe I should give it a press. Oh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so disappointed. You're meant to just pull these little tags and they're meant to just pull out as pieces of pineapple. I'm going to press into it with my thumb. It's been a while since I've had pineapple and it's nice. Oh, it's not working! I'm going to try giving it another. No, I'll listen. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Work. It's a lie. The video is a lie. It doesn't work. I didn't even read the comments. Ah, I'm so gutted. I'm just going to need to cut it up with a knife. Oh well, that's that. Okay, so I'm going to have a little pre-workout meal and then we're going to Stoke-on-Trent for a very famous gym, which I only found out recently. And it's a very famous man who co-owns it. It's Mr Eddie Hall. So this is going to be a fun upper workout with Jordan. And let's get started. Fearless! <laughs> We are here, Stoke on Trent. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Strength Asylum. It's co owned by Eddie Hall. Jordan says apparently he drives a Range Rover. So could you imagine that we see Eddie Hall today? That'd be pretty sick. Um, before we get started, I did have a caffeine tablet and my citrulline malmate. Now it's the 1st of May, so I'm cycling off my beat alumine and I'm starting my month of ashwagandha because I cycle them on and off, um, rotating monthly. So, let's do this! Okay, straight into this workout. I am shaking with pre-workout energy. The music's bang on, the equipment's insane. I'm just so happy. There's so much equipment that we've not used. I'm so excited. Warm up, here we go. Ooh, I'm just gonna pyramid off this. Oh, see, you just want to get started, man.
drive, like usually you, you push through your waist and come through your bum, you need a bit of leg drive, you can't really do that on this sick tub. Right, we're going Where's my backy? <laughs> wow. Wow. What a sick workout. That was honestly, the equipment in there was unbelievable. You've never seen anything like it. No wonder it's the co-owners, like one, Eddie Hall. Like, that's unreal. I even came out with some with some protein <laughs> bars that I've never tried because I've never seen them in the shop. And typically, I don't buy protein bars because it's like chocolate. If it's there, you're going to eat it. But I thought, when in Rome, let's run down the the areas for marking what against my gyms jeez i can't even think um so yeah the equipment unbelievable there's there's atlas stones there's there's honestly all there's a yoke it's strongman equipment you name it it's got it you want to hit a muscle at a certain angle you can do that any way you want it's unreal the stuff they've got in that gym that that was my two pointer so that's a double pointer agree jordan yeah because usually like most gyms we go to i'll try and find like some sort of decent cables in order to rig it up and hit a muscle at a certain angle but there's like for instance it's lattice one of the most varied muscles you can get yeah uh, to hit and they've literally got a machine at every possible 
mechanical angle you can think of. Yeah, because um, we're going to be coming back up this way on Monday, so we're going to be back here to train another session because there's that much equipment you have to, <laughs> you need to come back for more than one. So the second point is music. Now, the music's a bit, bit different genre, a bit of a random shuffle, which I can see if you don't like some music, then that's good. I'm going to give it the mark for the music because... It was it was good music, like it was getting you going. There was some rock, there was some some bit of dance. It was it was good. I, I rated right, it, it a lot. Nice chart, it? Yeah. Next one, allowed gym equipment next to your machines. Yes, yes. For the love of God, yes. You could just keep all the stuff in your bag, which we've got all piled up here, and you could just take it as you need it, put it back as you don't need it. No tripping hazard behind the machine. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, gym lighting. Now, what do we think of the gym lighting? Meh? Meh. Uh, it could be better. The thing is, it's, it's a strongman gym. It's for people proper training. It's not for little kids like us getting a, getting a pump on. God, <laughs> let's, <boy> chest. <laughs> let's, get some, let's get some photos. Like, it's not that kind of gym. It's a more of a hardcore training gym. And I think people didn't really look at us with, with the camera at all. Or let me just clarify, the camera stopped working. I don't know what's going on with it. It, it keeps saying it's too slow for the right speed and I need to keep resetting it and I do it and it's not working so sorry for the footage if it's a little low quality but anyway we'll roll with that and we'll continue um, stretching the area there's no it's again as I li I'll reiterate it's a strongman gym it's a, it's a proper hardcore gym there is no stretching area so we haven't stretched mm, there is an upstairs bit that we need to venture into next time oh yeah that's uh, a good we point didn't go up where the atlas stones were yeah, so there's actually there was a stairwell upstairs, so we'll get back to that on Monday. But for for what we saw, there was no stretching area, so I'll be stretching when I get home because see after that workout, jeez. Um, so that would not get a point now. Locker size, I mean there was enough lockers. If it was busy, I don't think it would be. So I'm going to give it a. I don't think I'm going to give it a mark for the lockers to be to be quite critical. Um, there wasn't really enough. And carry out a key, but and you need to carry a key. I think mean, a key's not too bad, it's but not it's the just worst, but like when you're kind of modern, yeah, you're used to the padlocks and the conventional gyms, yeah. So, so I'll not give it a mark for that. Cost it's a fiver, um, entry, which is amazing, big massive tick for us since we train at gyms every weekend. Um, can't beat that. It's thirty pounds a month if you're paying cash, and as you pay progress, if you pay six months, then it's cheaper and cheaper for that gym for what you get for the equipment. Gold star. I'll pay that in a heartbeat. Take my money. Give me protein. Um, uh, hours of operation. I'm not actually too sure. I'm gonna check that and I'll mm. throw it up on the screen. Um, but we went. It's, it's hard to judge because it's a bank holiday, so we're kind of here midday. But I'll throw that up on the screen if anyone's curious. The temperature of the gym. Thing fine again. There was no issue. Not too nah. hot. Not too cold. Standard temperature. Tick. First set. Strip math. Staff. Guy was brand new, he was a young lad, um, we were asking about the camera, he's just like, yeah, yeah, brand new, like, just no issues with it at all, even though it did stop working, but we did use it for trying to get some photos still, so, but yeah, staff, bang on, gold star, so let's, let's get a quick count of what that is, so that's two, three, four, a few moments later, it was operations potential, okay, we'll leave out the now, temperature, six, seven, so that's a 7 out of 11, potentially an 8 out of 11. And JD Gyms in Nottingham was a 6.5. So we're winning, we're winning. We're going up in gyms. We're going up in gyms. <laughs> yeah, so that was a 6. I just want to point out, like, this gym has got its own merchandise. It's got its own protein shakes. You can even buy um, pre-workout as a shop before you go in for two quid. You can't beat that. There's a selection of protein bars. If you've not got food and you need to eat, boom, job done merchandise what else there was everything like you can buy pre-workouts you can buy belts jumpers like... t-shirts um, they had egg whites and all that in the, um, the fridge egg whites milk like they had all sorts of stuff in the fridges uh, literally it's like it's only cafe and pretty sure there's a coffee um, menu yeah there's well. an espresso there's thing as well you can sit at the wee tables as well if you're sitting between or waiting on somebody getting ready or whatever but I've uh, got that wee section where you can sit in and chill yeah, so we're going to be coming back on Monday and I want to try the Atlas Stones. Woo! Anyway, well, we'll see you back at the flat. Before I go, I thought I may as well just add in this protein bar review. Because it's quite an interesting one. These are ones that you don't see in the typical shops. That looks soft. Soft, but big. Mmm. Good volume. I wonder what the macros are. 
I mean, it was 16 grams of protein. I kind of had a 20 as a substandard. Or standard. What's the calories? That's what I'm interested in. Where is it? Per seven, 440. Oh, I don't think I'll be buying this protein bar again. Which, what? Yeah, 440 calories. No. Yeah, per serving, per cookie. It's a full cookie. Shut up. Okay. Two servings in that. Fuck. So this is a two serving oh, protein bar cookie. Not buying it again. The taste is nice, but oh, it's just not worth the calories at all. Okay, one of the reasons that I don't eat or buy protein bars is because how calorie dense they are and they're just not satiating at all. So because that last protein bar was 16 um, grams of protein, I'm about to eat this one, which is 15 grams because we're over an hour away back to our flat and I want to get my 30 grams um, in after the workout since it'd been a long time since we previously ate. Woo, so I'm going to eat this one now. That last one's probably about a 7 out of 10 taste, but again, it's just the calories you need to look at. It's, I mean, it's a strongman gym, so they don't give, they do not care about calories, but I do. Little, little Lean Lee um, cares about his calories. But anyway, the way that I'm going to combat eating these higher calorie dense items is for my next meal, I'll have more low calorie dense items so it balances out. So, say rather than having like a big carb source, you just have the carb source and you could even have a protein shake to up, up the protein to kind of balance it out. That's pretty much all you need to do to stay lean. If you, if you know you're having a big cal calorie dense meal, say you're going out for a meal with your family, then your previous meals have a double scoop of protein shake. You're getting in your protein and then you're saving your calories for later on in the day. It's simple. That is rank. No way, I'm just eating it for the gains, not eating it for the, the taste. That is rank. Never buy this this um M, M bar, protein bar. Don't buy it. It's horrible. I was recommended this off the guy. I'm taking the point off for the staff. He <laughs> planned it. <laughs> We actually went a little walk to burn some extra calories because we're going to be going to a beer garden. We're going to go to a place called Bustler Market and uh, since it's such in the British culture to go out for a pint and we've still not been for one since they've reopened, we're going to go and I'll throw a little video in because it's meant to be quite a nice place. It's meant to feel like you're on holiday, so that'll be ideal negative the heat. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and a comment below of what gym I should do next. We've got a, we've got a lot of gyms in mind still. We've not covered them all. But uh, yeah, good night. Smile.